Hello everyone, this is Shruti from Simply Learn. Today, I have a short video on big data applications for all of you. Here, we will have a look at the various sectors where big data is used and explore how they leverage big data. So, let's start off. Before we move on to the applications, let's have a quick look at the big data market revenue forecast worldwide from 2011 to 2027. So here's a graph in which the y-axis represents the revenue in billion US dollars and the x-axis represents the years. As it is seen clearly from the graph, big data has grown until 2019 and statistics predict that this growth will continue even in the future. This growth is made possible as numerous companies use big data in various domains to boost their revenue. We will look into few of such applications. The first big data application we will look into is weather forecast. Imagine there is a sudden storm and you're not even prepared. That would be a terrifying situation, isn't it? Dealing with any calamities such as hurricanes, storms, floods would be very inconvenient if we are caught off guard. The solution is to have a tool that predicts the weather of the coming days well in advance. This tool needs to be accurate and to make such a tool, big data is used. So how does big data help here? Well, it allows us to gather all the information required to predict the weather. Information such as the climate change details, wind direction, precipitation, previous weather reports and so on. After all this data is collected, it becomes easier for us to spot a trend and identify what's going to happen next by analyzing all of this big data. A weather prediction engine works on this analysis. It predicts the weather of every region across the world for any given time. By using such a tool, we can be well prepared to face any climate change or any natural calamity. Let's take an example of a landslide and try to understand how big data is used to tackle such a situation. Predicting a landslide is very difficult with just the basic warning signs. Lack of this prediction can cause a huge damage to life and property. This challenge was studied by the University of Melbourne and they developed a tool which is capable of predicting a landslide. This tool predicts the boundary where a landslide is likely to occur two weeks before. This magical tool works on both big data and applied mathematics. An accurate prediction like this which is made two weeks before can save lives and help in relocating people in that particular region. It also gives us an insight into the magnitude of the upcoming destruction. This is how big data is used in weather forecast and in predicting any natural calamities across the world. Let us now move on to our next application, that is big data application in the field of media and entertainment. The media and the entertainment industry is a massive one. Leveraging big data here can produce sky-high results and boost the revenue for any company. Let us see the different ways in which big data is used in this industry. Have you ever noticed that you come across relevant advertisements in your social media sites and in your mailboxes? Well, this is done by analyzing all your data such as your previous browsing history and your purchase data. Publishers then display what you like in the form of ads which will in turn catch your interest in looking into it. Next up is customer sentiment analysis. Customers are very important for a company. The happier the customer, the greater the company's revenue. Big data helps in gathering all the emotions of a customer through their posts, messages, conversations, etc. These emotions are then analyzed to arrive at a conclusion regarding the customer's satisfaction. If the customer is unhappy, the company strives to do better the next time and provides their customers a better experience. While purchasing an item from an e-commerce site or while watching videos on an entertainment site, you might have noticed a segment which says most recommended list for you. This list is a personalized list which is made available to you by analyzing all the data such as your previous watch history, your subscriptions, your likes and so on. Recommendation Engine is a tool that filters and analyzes all this data and provides you with a list that you would most likely be interested in. By doing so, the site is able to retain and engage its customer for a longer time. Next is Customer Churn Analysis. In simple words, Customer Churn happens when a customer stops a subscription with a service. 
Predicting and preventing this is of paramount importance to any organization. By analyzing the behavioral patterns of previously churned customers, an organization can identify which of their current customers are likely to churn. By analyzing all of this data, the organization can then implement effective programs for customer retention. Let us now look into an use case of Starbucks. Big data is effectively used by the Starbucks app. 17 million users use this app and you can imagine how much data they generate. Data in the form of their coffee buying habits, the store they visit and to the time they purchase. All of this data is fed into the app. So when a customer enters a new Starbucks location, the system analyzes all their data and they are provided with their preferred order. This app also suggests new products to the customer. In addition to this, they also provide personalized offer and discounts on special occasions. Moving on to our next sector, which is healthcare. It is one of the most important sectors. Big data is widely used here to save lives. With all the available big data, medical researches are done very effectively. They are performed accurately by analyzing all the previous medical histories and new treatments and medicines are discovered. Cure can be found out even for few of the incurable diseases. There are cases when one medication need not be effective for every patient. Hence, personal care is very important. Personal care is provided to each patient depending on their past medical history. An individual's medical history along with their body parameters are analyzed and personal attention is given to each of them. As we all know, medical treatments are not very pocket-friendly. Every time a medical treatment is taken, the amount increases. This can be reduced if readmissions are brought down. Analyzing all the data precisely will deliver a long-term efficient result which will in turn prevent a patient's readmission frequently. With globalization came an increase in the ease for infectious diseases to spread widely. Based on geography and demographics, big data helps in predicting where an outbreak of epidemic viruses are most likely to occur. An American healthcare company, United Healthcare, uses big data to detect any online medical fraud activities such as payment of unauthorized benefits, intentional misrepresentation of data, and so on. The healthcare company runs disease management programs. The success rates of these programs are predicted using big data depending on how patients respond to it. The next sector we will look into is Logistics. Logistics looks into the process of transportation and storage of goods. The movement of a product from its supplier to a consumer is very important. Big data is used to make this process faster and efficient. The most important factor in logistics is the time taken for the products to reach their destination. To achieve minimum time, sensors within the vehicle analyze the fastest route. This analysis is based on various data such as the weather, traffic, the list of orders and so on. By doing so, the fastest route is obtained and the delivery time is reduced. Capacity planning is another factor which needs to be taken into consideration. Details regarding the workforce and the number of vehicles are analyzed thoroughly and each vehicle is allocated a different route. This is done as there is no need for many trucks to travel in the same direction which will be pointless. Depending on the analysis of the available workforce and resources, this decision is taken. Big Data Analytics also finds its use in managing warehouses efficiently. This analysis, along with tracking sensors, provide information regarding the underutilized space, which results in efficient resource allocation and eventually reduces the cost. Customer satisfaction is important in logistics just like it is in any other sector. Customer reactions are analyzed from the available data, which will eventually create an instant feedback loop. A happy customer will always help the company gain more customers. Let us now look into a use case of UPS. As you know, UPS is one of the biggest shipping company in the world. They have a huge customer database and they work on data every minute. UPS uses big data to gather different kinds of data regarding the weather, the traffic jams, the geography, the locations and so on. 
After collecting all this data, they analyze it to discover the best and the fastest route to the destination. In addition to this, they also use big data to change the routes in real time. This is how efficiently UPS leverages big data. Next up, we have a very interesting sector that is the travel and tourism sector. The global tourism market is expected to grow in the near future. Big data is used in various ways in this sector. Let us look into a few of them. Hotels can increase their revenue by adjusting the room tariffs depending on the peak seasons such as holiday seasons festive seasons and so on. The tourism industry uses all of this data to anticipate the demand and maximize their revenue. Big data is also used by resorts and hotels to analyze various details regarding their competitors. This analysis result helps them to incorporate all the good facilities their competitors are providing. And by doing so, the hotel is able to flourish further. A customer always comes back if they are offered good packages which are more than just the basic ones. Looking into a customer's past travel history, likes and preferences, hotels can provide its customers with personalized experiences which will interest them highly. Investing in an area which could be the hub of tourism is very wise. Few countries use big data to examine the tourism activities in their country and this in turn helps them discover new and fruitful investment opportunities. Let us look into one of the best online homestay networks, Airbnb, and see how big data is used by them. Airbnb undoubtedly provides its customers with the best accommodation across the world. Big data is used by it to analyze the different kinds of available properties. Depending on the customer's preferences, the pricing, the keywords, previous customers, ratings and experiences, Airbnb filters out the best result. Big data works its magic yet again. Now we will move on to our final sector which is the government and law enforcement sector. Maintaining law and order is of utmost importance to any government. It is a huge task by itself. Big data plays an active role here and in addition to this, it also helps governments bring in new policies and schemes for the welfare of its citizens. The police department is able to predict criminal activities way before it happens by analyzing big data information such as the previous crime records in a particular region, the safety aspect in that region and so on. By analyzing these factors, they are able to predict any activity which breaks the law and order of the region. Governments are able to tackle unemployment to a great extent by using big data. By analyzing the number of students graduating every year to the number of relevant job openings, the government can have an idea of the unemployment rate in the country and then take necessary measures to tackle it. Our next factor is poverty. In large countries, it is difficult to analyze which area requires attention and development. Big data analytics makes it easier for governments to discover such areas. Poverty gradually decreases once these areas begin to develop. Governments have to always be on the lookout for better development. A public survey voices the opinion of a country's citizens. Analyzing all the data collected from such surveys can help governments build better policies and services which will benefit its citizens. Let us now move on to our use case. Did you know that the New York Police Department uses big data analytics to protect its citizens? The department prevents and identifies crimes by analyzing a huge amount of data which includes fingerprints, certain emails and records from previous police investigations and so on. After analyzing all of this data, meaningful insights are drawn from it which will help the police in taking the required preventive measures against crimes. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope all of you have understood big data applications. I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please do hit the like button. Also do subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet as we have a lot more interesting videos coming your way. So see you guys next time. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.